morning children now in the, your previous classes you have learned about integers then large numbers and uh, about rational number and also operations on addition subtraction multiplication division yes you have learned no? now 9 plus 5 is 18 now this we can also write as how we can write as 2 into 9 yes we can write 9 plus 5 yes so that means 2 into 18 that means 2 times 9 yes it is 2 times 9 similarly here we can write 3 times 9 4 times 9 9 5 times 9 we can write no yes in multiplication is there means it is how many times so same yes so similarly we can write this also 9 times 9 9 times 9 Okay, so this is one method. This is the method of multiplication. This is one method to write this. Now there is one more method. We can write this multiplication in a shortcut form. That one more method is this. Nine two times it is multiplied. So we can write as a two. When it is multiplied the same number two times, we can write as two. So what is this? Now here the same number is multiplied. So this is a new number for you. So we are going to learn about this new number that is exponential form. This is known as exponential form. Okay, when the same number is multiplied many times, and that if we write in this form, this form is known as exponential form. Okay, understood? Exponential form? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So we are going to learn our next lesson. That is lesson number five. That is exponents. Exponent is also known as power. So here I wrote nine and two. That means nine is multiplied two times, and now this we can read as nine raised to two. How we can read nine raised to two? Nine. Raise to two like this. So how many times we are multiplying? Nine into nine into nine. Nine is multiplied three times. That means nine raise to three. Three. Okay. So this is how we can read nine raise to three. Again, there are many different ways. For example, nine. To the power of three. So this is what this power of nine raised to. So this whatever number we are multiplying, that number is known as base. What it is known as base. Yes, this number is known as base and. This full number, upper number, is known as exponent. Upper number is known as exponent, or we can say power, or we can say as index also. So there are three names for this. This two raised to which number we are raising? It's multiplying the power of this number. So this number is known as base, and the upper number is known as exponent or power or index. Understood? Yes. So what is exponent? Exponent 
bigger shortcut method of multiplication means if you are multiplying the same number many times we can write it in shortcut form that is the raised to how many times we are multiplying that many times this number we are writing okay so this is exponent power or index and this down number is known as base okay now during area and area dot we had seen that square is mean that means centimeter square so i have told you that we have to say it square okay so we can say like this also now we can read as 9 raised to the power of 2 or we can say that 9 square square means two times same number multiplied two times so 9 square when they were two is they means we can say as 9 square okay and when they were three is there we can say as 9 cube okay that means 9 is multiplied three times so 9 cube 9 square understood our exponent and base yes okay now whenever now we have to have not rational numbers yes so here if we multiply same number many times we can say this how many what will come raised power 4 If I will take five to five, what will be the power? Five square. Five square. Yes. If I will take six, six power. Six to the raised to five. Six raised to yes. Six to the power of five. Raised to five. So in rational number, by seeing this, by seeing this, we can compute a formula that if yes, ma'am, I have a doubt. Yes, yes, ask. Yes, Krishan. Ma'am, two, ma'am, two into two into two into two. Ma'am, what will be the ma'am? Ma'am, two four. Two raised to four. Two raised to four. What do you have to say? Two raised to four, or two to the power of four. We can say as two to the power of four. Okay. So six raised to five. See, we can say six raised to five, or six is raised uh, power of six to the power of five. Like this also. Anyhow, we can say. Yes. Shuraj, ma'am. Ma'am, 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 Understood? Okay. Yes. So this is read as six to the power of five. Now, if it is a rational number, if we consider as this as a rational number, means a is any rational number. If a is any rational number and m is its positive integer, if m is a positive integer, then when a is multiplied m times, we can write as a raised to m. Okay, so a can be any rational number. It can be positive number also, and it can be negative number also. So when we are finding the exponent. Here we will get this. We can use for rational numbers. It's for uh, negative numbers also, for positive numbers also. 
all type of integers we can use this okay yes so here this a is known as base and m is known as exponent okay power or index and this full what do you call this full it is known as exponential notation what it is known as exponential notation now you are having some examples where uh, the question will be asked the like this question will be given we have to write in uh, the exponential form what we have to write Ex we have to write the exponential notation. So, if it is asked, write in exponential notation. Means this multiplication form will be given. Only we have to write the base and write the exponent. So, this is exponential notation. Okay. And sometimes the question will be example will be like this: seven by 6. 7 raised to 6. So, here question will be asked that which is exponent and which is base. So, here which is exponent and which is base. Having 
when power will be negative what to do you have to uh, those are the formulas those are the laws using those laws only we have to solve the examples that time i will tell okay before that first you understand about exponents and how we can find the value after that i will tell you laws also there you will get the power also will be negative okay again i will ask if 3 by 3 raised to 7 is there so here base is 3 base is 3 and power is power or exponent is exponent is 7 okay this first example all understood which is base and which is exponent it is important so i am telling you during solving examples you should know which is exponent which is base okay minus i will tell you i will tell that also first in this you understood okay yes next next is express in power notation now if it is given Minus four by three multiplied with minus four by three multiplied with minus four by three multiplied with minus four by three. So this example, how will you write in exponential form? Exponential notation. Minus four by three. Yes, sorry, correct. Minus four by three bracket. Why we are writing bracket? Because the minus is there, and we are having the uh, rational number, so we are writing the bracket. So yes, what will come here? Four. That makes minus two by three raised to four. So this is the exponential form of this example. And this one also write exponential form. What? Why do you put bracket now? Because your minus sign is there too, and this is this uh, bracket means this uh, uh, exponent is for both, not only for four, or not only for three. It is for both, for both, for both common it is. So we are writing bracket. Then if it is not common, we can write like this also. So which is better, you see? This or this? So we have to write that. We are going to see this also in laws. Okay. So first you understand. We will go from base directly. We can't go from complex. You have to understand first uh, simple thing. Okay. Now for example, minus seven by. Nine multiplied with minus seven by nine. So what? Which is right in exponent? Minus two. Minus two. Why? How many are there? See, one, two, three, four, five. That means minus seven by nine is multiplied five times. Okay, how to write an exponential form? Understood? Okay. Yes. Okay. Sometimes it will be given not in the multiplication form. Sometimes it will be given. Now, for example, forty-nine uh, by. If I take simple example, forty nine by sixty four is there. So forty nine, how we can split? Same number. How we can split the forty nine into two factors? Forty nine divided by two is the two factor. Forty nine divided by two. No. Seven into seven. Yes. Seven into seven. And sixty four. Yes, seven, seven, nine, eight, four, eight, 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 eight
in my head yes so sometime like this also will be given what you have to do first you have to split it and then we have to write the exponential form understood one more example i think
positive. Okay? Yes. Now one more example I will give you. Okay, okay. Multiplication that two raised to 
2 plus 3 we can do. Instead of multiplying this separately, multiplying this separately, we can use this method. Means here 2 raised to 5 income directly. So 2 raised to 2 multiplied with 2 raised to 3 is 2 raised to 5. You have to add that when the base is same. Yes? Yes, if it is asked to find the value, then we have to find the value. Okay, so the first law of exponent is if x is any non-zero rational number and a and b are the positive integers, then we can use this law for multiplication that x raised to a when multiplied with x raised to b, we can write the law as x raised to a plus b. You have to remember this law. These are important laws. You have to learn and remember. Keep in mind. So, whenever the base is same, you can use this law. Yes, base is same that time only. And this all laws we can use. All rational, all rational number we can use. All type of for negative, positive, all type of rational number we can use this law only for multiplication. Okay? Yes? Ma'am, what the X have to be same number? Yes, then only. X should be same number, then only. Now, for example, 5 is to 6 is multiplied with 5 is to 4. Directly 5 is to 10 we can write. 6 plus 4. This is first law. Understood? Yes, yes. What is the number of man? Yes. What? What is the number of man? I can't hear your voice clearly. Why is the level of Why is the level of See this. We are doing this no exercise. We are doing this loss. Why is it the level of small? This you understood? Yes. First law of exponent. Understood? First law of exponent. Yes? Yes, ma'am. 